Hello, my name is Kathy and today I'll be discussing Mercury in the sixth house. But before I do this, I wanted to let you know that because I have a great many videos now on many different topics, that I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easier to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. People with Mercury in the sixth house have great analytical ability that allows them to excel in professions that require detailed work or expert craftsmanship. These people are well suited to be medical technicians and to enter branches of industry for which specialized training is required. Computers and electronic devices appeal to their love of efficiency and they can handle intricate machinery with delicacy and finesse. However, if they become bogged down in details, they may strain their nerves while endeavoring to be too precise. Mercury and the Sixth House people focus their thoughts on finding the best way to utilize their creative resources to derive the most benefit. They seek the kind of job that requires problem solving as well as physical effort. These people are especially gratified when their creative talents are appreciated and when they can apply them as they think best and they know their children will benefit greatly if they show them how to take advantage of the resources that they have worked so hard to provide. Mercury and the Sixth House people are grateful that their parents' teachings help them solve the problem of finding suitable self-expression through their job. Their parents also taught them how to think for themselves and to accept the responsibility of using their ideas to gain the security that they want. Mercury in the Sixth House people do not want to appear incompetent, and so they often neglect to ask others for help in making decisions. As a result of this, they learn the hard way from their mistakes. These people are never satisfied with anything less than perfection in their endeavors, and it bothers them greatly when they fail because they expected too much from their efforts. Mercury in the Sixth House people will succeed in earning a comfortable living by using their skills creatively and imaginatively. It is reassuring for them to know that they can always find enjoyable ways to satisfy their needs. These people need to learn to relax and take the time to unwind from the demands of their occupation. They owe it to themselves to develop good living habits and to get enough exercise to keep their body in top condition at all times. It disturbs the Mercury in the Sixth House person when their efforts go unnoticed. It is important for these people to understand how important they are to others when they help those who lack their skills. The time these people spend in developing their skills is a worthwhile investment in their future security. They must realize that only the only way they can achieve their goals is by making careful plans and applying themselves. Mercury and the Sixth House people are dedicated in their careers and they perform their duties with the professionalism that is required of them. The superiors of these people admire them and respect their ability to accept responsibility and they trust the Sixth House Mercury person to always give their best performance on the job. With even a limited education, these people can accomplish more than others who have more formal training. They understand how to make the most of their creative potential without resorting to deceptions. Mercury and the Sixth House people's talents allow them to serve people's needs and it is commendable that their efforts have made their future security possible. These people are secure in knowing that they will happily do favors for them in return if necessary. It's important for them to understand that they cannot turn their back on people who indicate that they need their skills. Other people know that the Sixth House Mercury person understands their problems and can help them with them if they want to. These people are too cautious about taking advantage of opportunities to demonstrate their talents. But when they avoid com competition because they are afraid of it, they give up a chance to prove themselves in challenging situations. They know their competitors' weaknesses, so they really have little to fear in this area of life. Mercury and the Sixth House people are resourceful thinkers, and they enjoy solving problems. A major issue for them is to find out how to apply their skills for the most benefit. They understand that until they have developed their creative potentials, that they don't really have any skills to offer. 
Therefore, it's important for them to learn as much as possible to improve their chances for getting a suitable job. These people believe in self-development and they try to excel in using every talent they have to increase their options when opportunities come up. Mercury in the sixth house people put a value on their skills and rarely do any work unless they are paid accordingly, according to the quality of the services that they render. Money may not be able everything to them, but it does provide a tool for evaluating their performance on the job. They are willing to work to get what they want because they don't expect others to give them anything to do, to do them any favors. Mercury and the Sixth House people are dedicated to their careers and they perform their duties with professional attention at all times. And their superiors generally approve of their accomplishments and admire their devotion to duty as a result. The environment in which these people were raised allowed them to find a suitable outlet for their creative talents, and they are grateful for the lessons taught to them by their parents and their parents urging them to think for themselves. These people serve their own interests best when they serve the needs of others, because solving their problems or showing them how to deal with the situation brings out the best in them. People are more appreciative of the Sixth House Mercury person's help then they realize, and these others would be happy to do favors in return when they are in need themselves. Finding a way to make their skills available through fulfilling some social obligation should be an important priority for the Mercury in the Sixth House person. They will experience great joy by making a worthwhile contribution to society, even if they act anonymously. Finding a way to do this isn't difficult if they ask people who are in the position to know, it's important for these people to not be afraid to admit when they are ignorant about some matter, even if their formal education is limited. They can accomplish more than many people who are better educated because they know how to make the most of their creative potentials. It's important for these people to stop worrying about problems that never happen. When external crises develop, they need to learn to use them as opportunities to demonstrate their superior skill in coping. However, it is important for them not to do anything without a plan designed to reward them for their efforts later in life, when security is so important. These people need to take time to relax and unwind from the demands of their vocational interests. Clean living habits and physical exercise will pay dividends in a prosperous and productive way of life. The diligence and determination to succeed of the Mercury in the Sixth House person gives them greater self-assurance and confidence with those they love. In a sense, these qualities are their love offering, and they sincerely hope to attract a lover or mate who admires them for these qualities. These people also hope that their children will learn by their example and take advantage of the benefits that they provide to make their own way in life. It is important for them to be cautious about starting relationships with others who don't seem to want to help themselves because they could be expected to compensate for that person's incompetence by taking on his or her obligations. I have a great many videos now on many different topics and so I've decided to make several different video playlists so that it's easy to find the videos of greatest interest. So please check out my playlist page. Well, that's it for now. To stay up to date with my latest videos, make sure to subscribe to this free YouTube channel by clicking the red subscribe button right below this video. Take care.